It's finally here. Discord is now on the PlayStation, which means you can now chat with all of your friends who are at a Discord party while you're playing your PlayStation game. But what if you want to stream to Twitch? Will your Discord party pass through and come up on your Twitch stream? The answer is no. But I'm going to show you how to do a workaround today using Lightstream Studio and Discord to make sure that you can let your party be on your stream and everyone enjoy all the crazy things that are happening. Let's get into it. Now I'm going to preface this with just saying I know this sounds janky, but this solution does allow this to work. So you are going to need a couple things. Number one, you're going to need a computer. This computer needs to be able to connect to Discord on a browser and be able to have Lightstream, the actual web interface, open. You're going to have to have that for this to be able to work. The second thing you're going to need is actually a second Discord account. And seeing as these are free to make, just go ahead and make a new one. You're you're going to see why in just a moment. Step one is to go ahead and connect to your Discord chat on your PS5 from your phone. And this is pretty simple. You just pull up Discord, say send to PlayStation, and then you connect it onto your PlayStation. And now you're in PlayStation Party Chat on your PS5. The second thing you're going to need to do is on your computer, you need to open up and sign into Discord using your second Discord account. And you're going to need to actually join that voice chat with your second account. The next step is to go into the actual Lightstream web interface and you're going to add a new layer and go to a screen share. You're going to choose the tab that you actually have Discord on on your computer that has your second account connected. Choose it, let it pop up, and then just hide the video. What this will do is allow the audio to still come through the audio channel because of the screen share, but the video won't be on the screen, which is what you don't want to see anyway. The next step is to go live on your PlayStation 5 to Twitch, and make sure you check our description for the updated tutorial that actually includes a DNS server locator so that you can find the best server so that that you have the best connection. So let's summarize. You are going to be going live from your PlayStation 5 and you're going to be hearing your party through your headset and your microphone's going to get picked up through the PlayStation 5 Twitch stream. The way Twitch is going to hear your Discord party is actually through the browser screen share that we did. And we muted you on the second account so that we're not doubling up our voice on those voice calls because your voice is coming through the Twitch stream. Now this setup is crazy, but you still don't need an expensive streaming PC to make this work because you're not actually streaming, you're just connecting a screen share just like you would any kind of Zoom call. So make sure you use this to its full advantage. For more tutorials on the Gamer Project, make sure you check out the playlist on the screen now or check out our knowledge base at golightstream.com. We'll see you over there.